Once we've completed the electrofishing pass, we take down the bottom block net, being careful not to let any trapped creatures escape. They are also part of the sample from this stream segment. We lay the block nets down on a flat stretch of stream bank and comb through to pick out any of the biological life that gets trapped in the net to include them in our sample. We find fish, crayfish, and other cool critters. Once the net is picked clean, we let it dry completely in the hot sun. We take steps like that to prevent stream-borne pathogens from one stream from being introduced into the next site we sample. The next step is to weigh our sample to get a total biomass of fish. Biomass is the total weight of the fish we just collected. We pour the bucket of fish into a net to sort through what gets measured. We remove rocks and other specimens that would not be appropriate to count as biomass. Biomass is one measure of the health of the fish community. The higher the biomass, the healthier the stream. You get a higher biomass measurement when you've got higher numbers of fish, larger individuals, or a combination of both. The biomass is weighed in a calibrated bucket already filled with water to avoid hurting the fish, and the measurement is recorded. Tim, are you ready to record the biomass? Yes. Okay. All right, it's 1.100 uh, kilograms. 1.100? 1. 1. Yes. Correct. All right, we can release these guys. The exciting electrofishing part of our job is done. Now, we get to sit down and do the time-consuming and often tedious work of identifying and logging each fish in our sample. The fish are kept alive in the buckets with aerators as we quickly count and identify them before returning them to the stream. This is a uh, red-breast sunfish. Red they have a really long opercular flap. This, this is a white sucker. Speed is of the essence so we can return our sample of fish to the stream. And I'll get, I'll Three of us work simultaneously, of identifying spot. and calling out the fish for our note taker. It takes experience and familiarity to recognize species accurately, while also noting any anomalies or problems with the fish. Here's a really teeny tiny largemouth bass. We're going to measure him. We also measure the length of any game fish we collect. Here, we found a largemouth bass. We collect this measurement for both adults and juveniles, like this one. It gets confusing when you have three of us calling out fish, so the way we do it is that the fish name and numbers are called out to the recorder, who reads them back to us before he notes down the final data. Green sunfish with black spot. Green sunfish, black spot. One blunt nose. One blunt nose. Swallowtail shiner. Of course, we love looking at the fish, but we are happy to release them back to the stream where they belong. You have to be careful handling them. It's a long day, but no better way to end the day than cooling off in the stream. In a minute, those guys will be lugging all that equipment back to the vehicle, so they're taking a breather while they can.